This is Casey from the Legacy of the Lakes Museum, and welcome to our video series on female race boat drivers from history in honor of Women's History Month. Today we're highlighting Dorothy Levitt. Dorothy Levitt was born Elizabeth Levi in 1882 London to a prosperous family. At the age of 20 in 1902, Levitt worked as a secretary for Napier and Sons, engineers who were known for their luxurious motor cars. It was through this job that she met Selwyn Edge, a race car driver for Napier. He promoted Levitt to his secretary and began her racing career in motor cars. He arranged for training in Paris and let her drive his cars to promote them to the public. Edge had also arranged for her to have an apprenticeship at a French automobile company where she learned the ins and outs of building and driving cars. Upon her return to England, Levitt took what she had learned and began teaching other women to drive and participating in speed trials. She even allegedly taught Queen Alexandra and her daughters how to drive. Levitt began motor car racing and at one point held the Ladies Land World Speed record. She even had to appear in court for speeding in Hyde Park and was charged five pounds, even though the other drivers appearing in court that day were only charged two. In 1903, Levitt participated in her first motorboat race, which also happened to be the inaugural Harmsworth Trophy race. During the race, she set the first water speed record, going 19.3 miles per hour in a 40-foot steel-hulled Napier boat. Because the boat was owned by Selwyn Edge, he was listed as the winner, but her contribution as driver was recognized from the start. Through 1903, she continued racing on water throughout Europe and winning fame. In August, she won a race that gave her an audience with King Edward VII, and later that month, she won the five-mile Gaston Meunier Cup, which had a cash prize worth nearly $60,000 in today's money. In October, she won the Championship of the Seas in Touville, France. The French government, impressed with her boat, purchased it for the equivalent of around $35,000 today. These wins, combined with her success in motor car racing, earned her the nickname the fastest girl in the world. Levitt had an atypical lifestyle for an Edwardian woman. She was described as an independent and privileged bachelor girl who lived with her friends in the West End. She gave classes to aspiring female motorists and in 1909 published The Woman in the Car, a chatty little handbook for women who motor or want to motor, in which she tried to counter cliches about mechanically ignorant females. In the book, Levitt pioneered an early rearview mirror, advising ladies to carry a little handheld mirror while driving and hold the mirror aloft from time to time. This was seven years before the rearview mirror was adopted by manufacturers. Very little is known about Levitt's life after 1912. In May 1922, her body was discovered at her home in Marylebone. Her cause of death was listed as misadventure. She had died from morphine poisoning while suffering from heart disease and the measles. She was only 40 years old.